My name is Hannah. Um, Elder Ellen and Elder Daniel are my parents, and I'm 20 years old. So, um, basically, I wanted to talk about just, like, trusting in God and how important it is. Because, you know, when we come to the church, everybody has, like, desires and goals and dreams that they want to accomplish for themselves. And it might not always be what God wants for us. And we just have to come to the understanding that when we trust God and the plans that he has for us, everything will just go smoothly. And the end result will always be better than what we expected. And God will always put you in certain situations in order to test you to see if you will trust him. And, you know, it could be um, basically like even Pastor Steve has preached about this too. Like even if God takes everything away from you or the thing that you wanted most, like are you still going to trust him and have a good attitude? And I always remember that. And I feel like it's really important to like always constantly evaluate yourself. And, you know, God could test you in any way. It could be, like, taking away a person or a dream that you have or, like, your car or whatever, you know. But we always have to be willing to surrender our desires for God so that we can build trust with him and deepen our relationship with him. And, you know, God has tested me a lot with this area of trusting him, especially with school. And uh, actually, my dream school was to go to UC Berkeley. That was, like, ever since I was little... That was like the one school I wanted to go to. It has like a really good business program. And, you know, in high school, I like took a bunch of hard classes and like tried to get in and I got rejected. So I went to community college and then I worked really hard again and was trying to just like do everything so that I could go to this school. And, you know, on paper with the application, it, it looked like a good thing and that I was, um, that I could like maybe have a chance of going because I had the grades and I had like all the extracurricular stuff. Um, but during the waiting time, um, like waiting to see if I would get accepted to the school, you know, it takes like five months to hear back. Um, something kind of like switched in me because before I would just pray, you know, oh God, please help me to get into UC Berkeley. And that was kind of it. But after a while, I decided to start praying, like, God, please help me, like, or please pick the school for me, and please let me go where you want me to go. And um, in the end, I actually got rejected from UC Berkeley. I didn't end up getting accepted. But I had to, like, come to the realization that it wasn't God's plan for me to go there, even if that was, like, you know, my top school. But I just knew in that moment that I had to trust God and that the school that he had me go to, which is San Jose State, is actually the best option for me because he chose it. And um, at first, I didn't really have any expectation for San Jose State or anything like that. I was just very like grateful to be even going there to that school. And when I went to like the orientation, I found out that it was actually ranked number one for my major like specifically and I like, had no idea and so when I found that out I was very like very grateful and I knew like that was just God because like what are the what are the odds that the school I end up getting accepted to like is the number one school for like the major that I have and so um I'm just like grateful that God kind of orchestrated everything and just to be like where I'm at right now and this is, like, not to brag about, you know, whatever school or, like, talk down about any type of school. But I'm just um, very grateful. And, like, hopefully this shows, like, God's goodness and mercy on his people, you know. Um, like, as long as you trust him, then, like, the plans that he has for you will end up, like, working out, you know. And, you know, I'm not perfect, and God still, like, is testing me even this week. He tested me to see if I will trust him. And, you know, I'm trying my best, of course, and all I can do is just, like, stick close to God, choose right, and always work to, like, change for the good. And I know that, like, things will work out for me in the end. And, you know, God knows what's best for all of us, and God's plans are always better than what we have planned for ourselves. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Praise God.